All right, this is pretty exciting. Today we are bringing you a world's first. Before we get into the details of what we're doing, let's talk about the challenges. Ian, let's talk about the challenges. Come with me. So we have here today, we've got a really stiff shot crate mix. And we're pushing this through 250 feet of hose and they're doing about 70 yards here today. So they need to keep some good volume. Just under the tarp there, that's where they're spraying. Lots of line out, goes all the way around the corner. So in a long push like this, as we all know, loss of volume can be an issue. And what that really comes down to is horsepower. So if you look at this chart here, so if Ian holds the chart up, assistant, what you've got is pressure and you've got volume. As your pressure goes up, your volume goes down. Now you can see on this chart, there's two separate uh, ratings here, 180 kilowatts and 200 kilowatts. I don't recall exactly what that translates to in horsepower. I think that would be like 350 horsepower or 400 horsepower. Now this isn't applicable to this exact machine. This is just to give you an idea. So what can we do? What can we do to keep that volume number up as the pressure goes up? Ian, what can we do? Good old, ah. good old horsepowers, horsepower. That's what we Hurst can do. Purse. So what's the answer? What's the answer to our horsepower dilemma? This little rig here comes with 130 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel. But what can we do? Not anymore. What can we do? What can we do? Quick, simple, easy fix. Nitrous oxide, the world's very first nitrous oxide powered concrete pump. Now, I don't want to zoom in too close on this and potentially compromise our uh, good standing within tier four emissions compliance. So we'll just we'll just stay back here a little bit. Uh, bottle's a little bit crooked. It's a little bit of a last minute install. We kind of just threw that on there this morning. We're starting out pretty light here with 125 horsepower shots. So we're using a small jet. And that seems to be giving us about an extra 20 cubic meters an hour of volume even on a long push like this. So this is the early stages, right? I don't want to get too excited yet. What I'm thinking, Ian, if we could plug this into a high rise, and I know this pump's rated at 60 yards an hour, we could plug it into a 50 story high rise and plumb it with a 250 shot of nitrous, the big boy jet. I think we could still get rid of close to 50 yards at 50 stories. I think that would be stronger than the swing pump we have. It probably would be. Give the old swinger a run for its money. So now you've got a multi-use pump. Residential work, shock creep work, high-rise work. Thanks to good old nitrous oxide. Like I said, this is a very, very basic kit here. Um, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna go this route, you gotta be real careful because there's a lot, of, a lot of power behind this. Now, our maximum pressure output on the pump is still the same. That doesn't, doesn't affect it whatsoever. It's just we don't get that volume loss when we're pushing hard and we're up in the uh, the, uh, the higher higher volume end of things, relatively speaking to this pump. So yeah, that's what we got going here today. Uh, we might back another truck on here and uh, we'll get Ian to hit the nitrous. Okay. Now, I should say we're not running a constant 125 horsepower shot here. We've actually tied in, do you have your remote control? There was a uh, an unused function on the aircon remote because this pump doesn't have stroke change on the remote. So what would be stroke change right here, that's actually gonna be our nitrous. Yeah. So we get into a little bit of a tighter load, give her a little blast of the uh, the giggle gas and away she goes, right? I'll show you soon. Yeah, as soon as the next truck gets here, we'll do a, a little bit of a little demo. Ian knows, don't abuse the NOS, right? Yeah, because right now we're pumping at a 200 bar. Yeah. That's the max we can go. But then when we put the NOS on, we go 250. Well, and we only do that because we have the horsepower to incur the volume loss, yeah, we need right? Horsepower. We need those horsepower. So when the next truck gets here, we'll uh, we'll dig into this. All right, here we go. We got a tight slump here. Look at this stuff. This stuff is tight. Look at that. What do you call that slump? About a fifty? Mamma mia. the nitrous do it whoa, whoa 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 easy easy not too much wow yeah that is something else hold on to your hats Woo! we might have to uh 
We might have to debut this video April 1st. Why? April 1st. Why? Hello, McFly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, keep on pumping and uh, don't really ever put nitrous oxide to your concrete pump. It's a bad, bad idea. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll catch you on the next one.